So in this little video, I'm going to show you how this code there, which seems quite easy in a way, it's just a is a ray function. It's a function that takes an argument and tells you if that argument is an array, right? That's basically in the name. However, that function there is written in JavaScript. And I'm gonna show you how using TypeScript, you can avoid some uh, like n unnecessary code right there, okay? So let's get, let's get uh, going. So we have first the fact that this takes a collection, right? So if you don't put anything here, I say a collection actually doesn't matter. You can pass anything. We call that a collection. That's just the name of a variable. If here I just pass undefined, you see it's gonna crash here because in JavaScript indeed you you have to pass that thing to make sure that something is passed there that actually uh, um, it's not undefined or even better if you go with zero you get the same thing right if you go with no you will get exactly the same thing so uh, uh, however you still want in a way no or even zero to still say hey I'm not an array right undefined it's not an array that is kind of obvious now what is happening here is uh, just the fact that with JavaScript you have to go along and and put that syntax right like that uh, long uh, check right here so I would like to remove this and show you how you will do that with TypeScript right so the first thing we're going to do here is actually to type things so I'm gonna first start with the fact that this is a no. I know a lot of people there will be like, yeah, let's put any here. Nah, that doesn't work. Any is just like if you didn't put anything. So let's go with unknown here for now, okay? Now, uh, the thing we want to express here is to say, well, um, is it okay that sometimes we don't pass anything? But actually, if, if we don't pass anything, which means undefined, this part here, kind of uh, doesn't make sense right here. So if I remove this and I leave it like this, just by the fact that I know that this is TypeScript, it won't be, I won't be able to actually pass anything here because it's going to complain already while I'm writing the function. You see right there that is array turned red because it's complaining like, I don't have an example of this code that doesn't take any argument. So, which means that this part of the code becomes unnecessary. So that is one thing. The second thing there is indeed, um, uh, well, if you want to test with uh, something like no, it's going to still work because no, it's a value in a way and you're passing it into the collection, it's gonna tell you no, is not an array. Now, that is already one thing. Just by typing uh, this this way, TypeScript knows that something has to be passed there. Here's the thing, if you don't wanna pass anything, if you know that sometime nothing will be passed right there, just give it a question mark, that's it. Then you will handle the case when actually nothing is being passed, right? You see, no red thing there. So now let's go back and add one layer. One layer there is the fact that that function is a kind of like you can think of it as a utility function that you can reuse in your application. Now, what is happening there is this function is saying is array is going to return true or false, but the thing you could actually do there is to say, okay, let's remove this. The thing you can actually do there is to say, you want to make sure that if it's true, you want to give a type to the input that came because right here it says unknown so you really don't know what's gonna be passed right there now the, the way you make sure that you type the collection uh, af after it's valid uh, uh, the validation of like it's an array is actually using this notation you're going to say collection is going to be an array so let me write that this way and then it visible even better here so you see that line right there that line is basically saying the input is a none the output in case the check is true will be an array in this case we said an array of unknown right so that's basically the tip and well 
you can leverage that in your code base you know just use typescript and if you want to learn more about typescript there is a gem right there just just give it a try it will guide you using test driven development on how to leverage typescript in your javascript code cheers